Hello and welcome to this segment of Roofing It Right with Dave and Walter. You know his mother calls him Walter. I'm Dave. When you call me Walter, I try to work for my dad. It's Wally. Thank you. No, oh, okay. What are we doing today here, Wally? Well, we're what? talking about welding. So what's our minimum hand weld? Any hand weld, even the robot. What's our minimum weld we're looking for? Minimum inch to an inch and a half yeah, is our spec. Yes. So as you can see here, I would guess... Does it look like we got an inch and a half here? No. no well, if you include the wrinkle, probably, well, but then that's another issue. Yeah, that's another issue. So, if I take my handy dandy probe, and this probably is going to sound like Velcro. Yep. Right? There you go. Well, I, I'm not going to take this any further because we, we're going to repair this later. We got rain moving in. So, what we're looking for is an inch and a half weld. Obviously, we don't have that. Now, could be a couple things why this was done. On top of this wall, I mean, you got a wrinkle here. So the guy that welded it, he got the wrinkle and just said, heck with it, just kept welding. Well, it could be dirt. I mean, he this side could have been done first. This is on top. Right. So obviously that side was done first. So who knows if he, can clean, if he even cleaned it. So my advice, guys, when we're talking about patching, if you're do welding an area and you walk away from this, it just costs you a lot of time and money because now you're on another job. Got all your stuff on another job. The inspector comes and finds this. Could be find this all over the roof. Mm -hmm. Now you got to pull all your stuff back up on there when you were right there. Just right. So my advice, guys, are doing this. First words out of your mouth. Your first thought is, "Do I need a patch?" Just patch it. You're right there, rather than wait till after the fact. The thing about this is, you know, if you're if you're thinking about what you're doing, why would you do two pieces? Why wouldn't you just take one piece, drop it over? And weld both sides. And save all, and save all that. that work. Absolutely. So that's, I mean, that's another way. You you would not have a problem here. Well, the other thing, when you've got a weld like a crease like this, when you roll it onto itself, oh yeah, where's that going to crack? Yeah, right there. Right in Absolutely. there. Right in there. Yep. Anyway, that's our tip for today.